Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. The Lord bless you and God's face to shine upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Monday. We thank God for this day. The Lord is good and all the time is faithfulness and just forever. This is every word of God for the living. Let's pray. Precious Father, King of glory, Lord of Lord, I bless you. I give you glory and adoration. I worship you, Lord, for there is no like unto you in all the earth. Oh, Lord, be thou exalted, magnified, glorified, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another new week. Oh, Lord, we bless you, Lord. Oh, Lord, receive glory and adoration in the name of Jesus. You are worthy to receive glory, worthy to receive honor. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, be exalted, be glorified, be magnified. None like unto you, Lord Jesus. I hallow you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are here again to receive another word to carry through the week. Lord Jesus, we pray, oh, that your word will come with power, oh God. Oh Lord, to transform our lives, to deliver us, oh God, to give us grace and strength to go through this new week in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your word come to come with salvation, to save someone, to deliver someone, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. Be thou exalted, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We just worship you with a song. Oh, amen. How excellent is your name? How excellent is your name? How glorious is your name? Oh God, how excellent is your name? How beautiful is your name? How glorious is your name? Oh God, oh thou art worthy. Worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, for Thou art created. All things are for Thy pleasure; they are well created. For Thou art created. All things are for Thy pleasure; they are well created. Oh, thou art worthy, Lord, thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, for thou art created, all things are for thy pleasure, they are all well created, oh yes, all things are for thy pleasure. They are oh well created. Hey, Kalabasha Saya. Oh, they are oh well created. The devil did not create anything. Oh Lord, when you created everything, you said they are good. Lord, we worship you, Lord, we bless you. You are the king of kings and the Lord of law. The devil has no right to nothing, Lord. You created the whole world. You created man. You created everything. You are the creator, the king of glory. The Lord of Lord, the ancients of days, Lord, we worship you. Be exalted. Everything that the enemy created is a kind of it. Oh Lord Jesus, you are the original God. You are the mighty God. When you created a human, you say, Yes, we are good. Yes, oh God. Every other creation is kind of it. Lord, we say we bless you, Lord. Great creator. Almighty God. Blessed be your holy day. I worship you, Lord. Be exalted, oh Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Our topic today is Live as Jesus lived. This is by Pastor Parika, the International Director of the Holiness of Our Movement Worldwide Short Form Horemon. Hallelujah. Today is Monday, February 14, 2022. February 14 have a have a signal just like things that the people of the world are celebrating. They said it's Valentine's Day, but I said it's a day that God has created, that we should live in his holiness and his righteousness, that the world is celebrating love. What is love? Jesus is love. Jesus should be the one celebrated every day, every night. It is not the one that people go ahead to go and fornicate and sin against God. No, leave this day to worship God, to, to serve God. I tell you, sweetie, if God come today, will you go to heaven? The God created February 14th for you to use it as funny as a time to fornicate and for as a time to sin against God for insolence to be going on on the earth. So walk as God wants you to walk. Walk while it is yet day.
Walk while it is yet day because tomorrow might be no more. How are you going to live this day? Live this day to serve your God. Live this day to please God. What if God has written that you will not see 15th of February 2022? So live today as if it is the last. Because Jesus can call you at any time. Don't live today to sin against God. That's a message for you for today. And as you live your life to please God, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our test today is taken from the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 15 to 17. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Our key verse is taken from the book of John chapter 1 verse 4. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All things are created by God. Hallelujah. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Amen. May the light of God shine in us everywhere we go this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I take our reading. Jesus came into this world as a man with the Spirit of God and lived as the light of this world. He lived as an example of man in this world and that is an example of the true christian jesus is the example of a true christian hallelujah he came on earth to show us how to do it he came on earth to show us how to live how to love hallelujah amen let us examine the character of our lord jesus christ while on earth as man amen he had love he had love and was passionate to all. He was faithful, which also demonstrated God in man. John chapter 13 verse 1. He washed the disciples' feet, having loved his own who were in the world. He washed our feet. He humbled himself and stood low and washed the feet of the disciples. But we see men of God these days, they, are, they, they want their shoes to be taken off. They want their, their feet to be washed. They cannot bow down to do the service of God. They cannot humble themselves. They are called Lord, Lord, Lord. He washed the disciples' feet, having loved his own who were in the world. He loved them to the end. As Christians, we are called to do the same, to love to the end, to humble ourselves, to be faithful to the calling that God has given unto us. Number two, he lived a life of obedience, obedience to God and authority, amen, and demonstrated it to us. Jesus did not claim relationship to the Father. He gave us the responsive the, the, the reason why his father loved him. He didn't claim responsibility. He didn't claim relationship. He didn't claim a relationship with the father, but he showed us how to have a relationship with the father. John chapter 15 verses 10 says, If you keep my commandment, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept the father's commandment and abide in his love. Jesus has demanded and commanded that we abide in the love of the father. To have a sound relationship, to have a firm relationship with him, not to say father, 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 and you do not communicate, you do not have a relationship, you do not know what your father is saying. Oh, it's only you, you come and ask and ask and ask. Oh, no, we ought to have relationship. Oh, abide in the father, ye to the father, amen. When Terry says he was a humble man and announced it himself, there is humility, announces itself. I am gentle and humble in heart. Matthew chapter 11 verse 29 I read, take my yoke upon you and lean of me. Learn of me, for I am meek and lonely in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. Learn on Jesus, learn on Jesus, and he will teach you. He will take your yoke. Oh, find rest in the Lord Jesus. Do not join arrogance or rough talks. Be gentle. Do not strive to get something. God will help you achieve it. Let God lift you up to that level 
that you desire. Humble yourselves. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God and be obedient as Jesus was, was still his death. As Jesus was still his death on the cross. Humble yourself. Jesus went to the cross. He didn't say no to the Father. He went to die for you and for me. He went to the cross. And the third day, the Father resurrected him. The Father did not abandon him there in the grave. The Father did not leave him. So humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Humility will make you agree to suffer reproach. Lay aside your, your, your greatness, your riches, and relate to people freely. Lay aside your pride. Lay aside what you have. And relate to people freely that your blessing may come, that the Father may see you and lift you up. Remember the Lord humble the pride, bring down the pride and lift it up. The humble. Hallelujah. May we be among those that God will lift up this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Point four says, He was the light of men, which is the example how men should live. Let Holiness and righteousness be features of your daily life. And let your good characters preach Jesus among men. As you live day to day, you come to hear the word of God. Let the word of God that you hear be the things you do. Don't come and hear the word of God and then you go ahead to do something else. The word of God you hear, let it be your manual of living your daily life. Before men, before God, your day-to-day -day activity should be full of the word of God. How you act, how you act, how you respond, your approach, your intake, your mindset, your calculations. Everything should have God in it, in your heart, in your soul, and your mind. God should be surrounded all around it. Hebrews 12, 14. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. The Lord required that we follow peace with all men, with all women, with everyone, every child, everywhere we go. Follow peace with all men without which no man shall see the Lord. That means if you are not at peace with your sister, how can you see the Lord? Nobody that keep miles or a hungry man, a wrathful man, no one like that shall enter the kingdom of God. Follow peace with all men. Our point five says he submitted to abuse, to abuses of men without fighting back. He accepted ailments, sorry, in treatment and suffered wrongfully. Jesus suffered in treatment, in treatment and suffered wrongfully. He suffered abuses. He didn't fight back. He didn't fight back. These days, do you suffer ill treatment when somebody come and insult you? When somebody throw an arrow of words to you? Do you hold back or you go ahead to respond just the way they do you respond back to them? Your case isn't between you and your oppressors, but between you and God and us. He will fight for you. Amen. God will fight for you. He is the righteous John. Just continue to uphold your righteousness. Continue to walk in the righteousness and, 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 and holiness of God. In that matter, in everything you do, continue to uphold your righteousness. Don't let go. Don't let the devil defeat you. Don't let flesh come in. Oh, say I am stronger than the flesh I overcome through the blood of Jesus Christ don't let the flesh to get you down don't submit to the flesh uphold your righteousness and God that is righteous will judge for you amen first Peter chapter 2 verse 19 to 23 I read for this is thankworthy if a man of for conscience toward God endured grief this is thank what if you endure it, grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it if any ye if any when ye be befretted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently. There is no reward for it if you do not if you do not take it patiently. But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently. This is acceptable with God.
If they wrong you and then you suffer it patiently, it is acceptable to God. But if you do not take it patiently and then you respond in wrath, in anger, oh, you have gotten your reward. There is no reward for you. That anger you let out is your reward. You have gotten it back. Whatsoever you get from there is what you get. Verse 21 says, For evil here unto we are called because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. Jesus is our example that ye also follow his steps. Follow the footsteps of Jesus, not the footsteps of men. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. Let your mouth be washed with the blood of Jesus. Cover your mouth. No insult, no bad words, no provocative words, no abuses was found in the mouth of Jesus. Nobody will say Jesus said this and he offended me. Jesus insulted me. No God was found in his mouth. Who when he was revealed, revealed not. When he suffered, he threatened not. Even when they slap him, he did not start threatening. Do you know I am God? When I get to my father, I will send my leaders of Israel and destroy all of you. He did not threaten. He did not let evil to come out from his mouth. Let's watch what we say. Let's be careful of what we say. Jesus threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged righteously. Commit yourself to Jesus that judge, God that judge righteously, the righteous judge. Men go to God, they go to this earthly judge, they take bribe and they judge wrongly. But Jesus, nobody can bribe God. As far as you live a righteous and a holy life, God will judge for you righteously. God will bring you out of that situation righteously. Just uphold your righteousness and God will see you through. Hallelujah. Our point six here says, he was holy and undefiled. He never committed sin nor told a lie. Jesus never told lies to you, a child of God, while lies found in your mouth. As those whose mouths are full of lies in the name of protecting myself. Oh, I just had to do this. Oh, a gun, a gun was in my head and I had to tell lies. Why not trust God that God is able to see you true? He committed himself to him who judges righteously. So people say even Abraham lied that Sarah was his sister. He didn't lie. Sarah indeed was his sister. He I think Sarah was his father's, his father's daughter. What did they call him? God, is he not sister, sister? He was his sister. It was a kind of a way to hide the truth in the truth. He was his sister. So there is no There is no proof for you to lie. Jesus never lied. Jesus never lied. So what? Where did you find it from? For all that make it a lie shall not have a place in the kingdom of God. All that make it a lie have their place in the lake of fire. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15 to 16 I read. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. God expects you that you live a holy life, a righteous life. For Jesus lived a holy life undefiled. If it was not possible, God wouldn't have lived it. But as far as he lived it, it is possible for you to be holy. Yourself, your flesh, as it has been has been put to the grave. He's dead now in Christ Jesus and you are alive. In the spirit, alive, in righteousness, in holiness to Lord. No power of sin can hold you anymore. Because Jesus has given you the authority over all the powers of the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the devil that causes us to sin. And all sinners are the the children of Satan. May the Lord give us grace that we will be holy, be righteous in all our conversations, in all our conducts, in all our lives. We will be holy and righteous before God. In Jesus' name, amen. Point 7 says, Jesus was not a noisemaker. Jesus was not a noisemaker or a storyteller. 
You come and tell stories. We see a lot of preachers these days. Instead of there to preach the word of God, they start preaching their experiences. Preaching, oh, when did somebody were miracle and this and that. Their experiences instead of preaching Jesus. They bring uh, 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 jokers to come to the house of God, the pulpit, to be telling jokes for people to laugh. Both spoils and the ones that are good and, and the one that is evil. Even blaspheming the name of God on the altar. Laughing with the name of our God. Evil that should not be done. Jesus was not a noise maker. Noise should not be in the temple. It should be full of serenity and the fear of God. Because the spirit of God is there. Remember God is not a man. And those that must worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. Jesus was not a storyteller. He was the he was in the business of his father. He had to accomplish his assignment and thus nothing outside the assignment took his time. As a Christian, mind what is taking your time. Is it Facebook or YouTube? People that tell jokes so that you laugh. And they are getting more subscribers. They are making their money while you are laughing. You are wasting your life away. Wasting your spirit. Wasting the things you are supposed to do. Ah, things you are supposed to set your mind on. You are setting your mind on the things of earth. But the Bible says set your mind on the things above. The things of God. Set your mind there. Take your Bible. Read. As a Christian, set your mind on things above. What is taking your time? Stick to the word of God. Stick to the word of God. Read to show yourself a proof. When the enemy come to throw arrows, to come to fight against the word, do you have in you? Do you have the word of God still in you? Stick to the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. See the word of God. Hold on to the word of God. And you will prevail in the name of Jesus. Amen. The thought for the day says, Live an exemplary life that glorifies God. Who are your friends? Who are your mentors? Who are your teachers? Who do you open your heart and your mind to? Live an exemplary life that glorifies God. Do their life please God or they please men? Are they God pleasers or men pleasers or society pleasers or government pleasers? Who are the people you follow? Live a life to glorify God. Let somebody see your life and change and repent. Let your light so shine before men that they will see your light and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Let's begin to praise the Lord. Oh, my life that has dimmed. Lord, clean it up, oh God. Forgive me, Lord. From that death I put in that light that has made my light quench, that has made my light dim. Oh Lord, cleanse me, purify me, Lord. Let me shine again. Let your light shine in me. Help my characters. Help me to be an example of Jesus. Oh, I have fallen. Forgive me, Lord. Help me, Lord, to stand from where I've fallen. Oh God, help me, Lord, to live a holy life, to live a righteous life, to live a life where pleased to. You. Holy Spirit, help me. Jesus, help me. Sanctify me, Lord. I am still failing in this area. Begin to confess to the Lord. I am still faulty in this area. Help my pride, oh God. Take anger from me. Give me humility. Help me, Lord Jesus. Humble me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Sanctify me. Cry before the Lord. That the Lord will make you an example. Oh God, make us an example. Help us to be like you. You are representative here on earth oh lord inside out jesus come into our heart transform us oh god make us to be like you make us to be like you in every area overcoming all the temptations of the enemy overcoming oh lord we overcome by the blood of jesus we overcome by the blood of jesus satan will not get us again in the name of jesus we overcome we live as royal priesthood we we leave us holy nation. We leave us a peculiar people unto God to show for his praise in the name of Jesus. And we choose to shine. 
We choose to shine as light in this world. That people will see our light and come to our brightness. Kings will come to the brightness of our light as we live in the holiness and righteousness of God. People will say, ah, ah, this person cannot get offended. With no bad words from their mouth. Ah, this person is living a better life. I choose to follow this person. I choose to follow. Sister, I will follow you to your church. Brother, I will follow you to your church. May this be our testimony this year. In the name of Jesus. That people will see our life and come and serve our God with us. In the name of Jesus. Bye bye to bad characters. Bye bye to everything that is not of God. Bye bye to bad talk. Bye bye to evil ways. Bye bye to bad friends. Bye bye to anything that is not of God. And we say yes Jesus. We shake hands with you. We go with you into this new year. To prevail in every area of our lives. Hallelujah. To live a Christ like life. To be example for Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's begin to bless the Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you glory. Thank you, God, for reminding us again, for teaching us your word. We receive that grace to overcome all temptations and trials, O oh Lord. Oh, and we stand victoriously, even to the end, that when you come, you will tell us, well done, my faithful servant. In the name of Jesus, blessed be your name, Lord. We bless our week in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It shall be well with us as we go out. As we come in, it shall be well with us. The the enemy shall not prevail over us. It is well with our soul. Blessed be your name, O God. All the forces of darkness and the manipulation orchestrated for this week. We bind them. I bind their powers. I bind their works. They shall not prevail. They shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with you, sister. It is well with you, brother. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We give God glory for today. Honor be to his holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Remember, be an example. Be like Jesus, a representative of Jesus everywhere you go. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.